Oh no, a wild fire ship is coming to attack our villager. We could run away from the shore, but why flee when we could just quick wall? Building a wall, even just a foundation, between the villager and the fire ship blocks all of the fire. Previously, we discussed how projectiles from buildings could be blocked by units, particularly with siege weapons protecting the villagers repairing them. Each projectile has a unit, and a hit mode of 0 or 1 determines if the projectile is not blocked or blocked, respectively. But the fire ship's projectile has a hit mode of 0, and buildings didn't seem to block projectiles anyway. So let's investigate and figure out why the fire ships can't shoot over other units. First, let's discuss unit accuracy. The accuracy percent determines whether a unit's projectile will hit or miss its target, and the attack dispersion determines how far away a projectile is allowed to miss. With a bigger value, the unit's projectiles can land further away. If a projectile misses its intended target and hits another target, then it inflicts 50% damage. Here we have a modded archer with 50% accuracy, who deals exactly 40 damage to these militia. But when the archer misses and hits another militia, the target takes only 20 damage. So, what happens if we give an archer 0% accuracy, but also 0 attack dispersion? Well, the archer always misses the target, but then still hits the target, unless another unit gets in the way. Each militia targeted by the archer takes the full 40 damage. This behavior is a result of the games using 3D collisions. When the projectile misses, it can collide with other units, and if it just so happens to collide with the intended target, then it actually does deal the full damage like it normally would. Now, we'll go back and look at the fire ship. It turns out that the fire ships have an accuracy percent of zero. That's right, fire ships always miss their targets, and then have a chance of still hitting their target based on the attack dispersion. If we were to change the fire ship to have 100% accuracy, then it would successfully shoot over the wall and hit the villager. But instead, since it has 0% accuracy, all of its fire is absorbed by the wall. But wait a moment. If we set an archer to have 0% accuracy, then it still hits the villager, not the wall. Hmm, we'll need to dig a bit deeper to figure out what's going on. And to do that, let's discuss the blast attack level and blast defense level. These values determine which units are harmed by a projectile's blast damage. Each of these attributes can have four values from 0 to 3, and a projectile deals damage to units with a blast defense level greater than or equal to the projectile's blast attack level. And from some testing, it seems that blast damage consists of not just the splash damage from weapons such as mangonels, but also the damage from missed shots and from projectiles with hit mode 1. Most units have both blast attack and defense levels of 3. Buildings, however, have a blast defense level of 2, so we can't rely on buildings to block castle fire. Rams have a blast defense value of 3, so they block the castle's hit mode 1 projectiles. Now, let's get back to the fire ship. We see its projectile has a blast attack level of 2 instead of 3. That means the fire projectile from the fire ship is capable of damaging buildings when it misses, since the buildings have a blast defense level of 2. So, the fire ship misses every shot it fires towards the villager, and never hits the villager with any of these misses, since all of the misses are absorbed by the wall. So what about fire ships versus other units? Well, since the fire ships always hit the target directly in front of them, they aren't able to shoot over other ships. If we keep some fire ships in front of our galleys, then enemy fires will have to navigate around our fires if they want to target our galleys specifically. We can use a building or a quick wall to keep a villager safe from enemy fire ships when trying to construct a dock or repair a ship. And on Mangrove Shallows maps, it may be worth it to wall in lumber camps completely. Fire galleys aren't able to shoot over the walls and can't attack the villagers. Just be aware that trees have a blast defense level of 1, so the fire ships still can shoot over the trees, even if they can't shoot over the walls. Another place we can notice this mechanic is with trebuchets, whose projectiles have a blast attack level of 1. Trebuchets have an accuracy of only 15%, so they're quite likely to miss their intended target. But unpacked trebuchets are also rather large, so misses still have a decent chance of ending up hitting the treb anyway. Though if we wall in the treb, then the walls can end up absorbing these misses. Adding a few gates or walls in a trebuchet fight can help keep the trebs alive a bit longer. And a few comments on my previous video also asked about the cannon galleon in the first Saladin scenario. This ship has 50% accuracy, and its projectile has a blast attack level of 2, that means 50% of the time, its shot will miss the tower, 
and then it can collide with the wall and deal damage to that instead. So there we have it. The blast attack level of the fire ship is 2, the same as the blast defense level of buildings. And since the fire ship has 0% accuracy, its projectiles are blocked by the wall, even though they have a hit mode of 0. Thank you all very much for watching. Extra thanks to everyone supporting me on Patreon, and I'll see you next time.